to the making of her story and to the making of our story. I can't help but be up here and sit and think about the fact that about 10 months ago I was sitting alone in the Minga and there had been the Orlando massacre and I thought enough, enough, enough. Enough people from the LGBT community killed, enough insulted, enough laughed about, enough oppressed, enough treated not like human beings, because we are here to celebrate our common humanity. We are all human beings. Last one, Ken. Last one, Ken. And I think of the fact that it was, over, it was 50 years ago, in 1967, I was first arrested opposing the war in Vietnam. It's 50 years of activism. Over 35 years ago, I was there the night in Toronto when the gay community fought back, when the cops raided the gay bass, and the gay community that night said in Toronto, we're not going to take this anymore. And they fought back. You happen to be now looking at one of the most intolerant pain in the asses you're ever going to see. <laughs> because I tend to find that rape and sexual assault is intolerable. I find racism is intolerable. I find war is intolerable. That throughout history, history has only been changed by people like you and I that have found it intolerable to keep going as it is any longer. Logically, this campaign would have been around Watergate and Nixon era. But a lot of you know about this because of the Facebook campaign, because of her work. I think we all have to acknowledge and say thank you to Frances Porter right now. And just in sharing before, there was that great civil rights song that said, ain't nobody going to turn us around. There ain't going to be the jails, turn us around. Ain't going to be Bo Connor, turn us around. The hate's not going to turn us around. The violence isn't going to turn us around. Well, we have said here today that ain't homophobia ever going to turn us around. We're not going to be turned around. I met a couple of days ago a woman who I think might be here who had her one-year-old child in a stroller and was going to make a pride shirt for her one-year-old. I think it's up to us to ensure that when that one-year-old human being is going to high school or elementary school in Dunville, we are still here in the park, that we're still here speaking that nobody is going to turn us around and I believe that yes, we're here to celebrate the pride of LGBTQ people, but everybody here, I want you to know that this is a great day for justice and freedom. It's a bad day for oppression and violence. Be proud, Dunville. We did it. We're going to keep doing it. Keep the struggle going. Way to go.